Hello YouTube, this is my attempt at making a synchronous rotary spark gap for a Tesla coil. Now uh, this is um, rotary gap version 2. Um, I had a I had a one attempt before this. There was a there was a, a motor, which is this one right here, and it turns out that it wasn't quite powerful enough to run to turn this rotor. It would sync up and lose its sync, then it would misfire and carry on. So I um, decided to build a better one. Now it wasn't easy to find all these components, um, especially this motor right here. This is a teletype machine synchronous uh, motor and it revs at um, 3000 rpm at 50 hertz now this motor was basically i found it by chance on ebay it was um it's actually brand new uh, manufactured in 1975 and uh yeah i basically got a brand new in a box now other bits and pieces uh we got these ceramic standoffs uh, they are also made in 1943 uh, just army surplus or something uh, then we had what else yeah all the bits and pieces are basically scavenged from uh, various pieces of equipment now these electrodes here are uh, tungsten carbide uh, about uh, 10 millimeters or just under just under 10 millimeters thick. It's probably uh, uh, imperial measurement of three eighths. Uh, they basically came from the water jet cutting machine. Once they're worn out, um, they're useless. And uh, I happen to run a, a water jet machine for a very long time. So I do have a, a few of these available for future use. Perhaps I'm just gonna, uh, if, I can, if I can show you. Yeah, I got I got quite a few quite a few electrodes. So if they decide to burn out, I got plenty of tungsten. <laughs> now it's I mounted the whole thing on a well, timber board, painted it white, and also. I mounted the mortar on two pieces of 50 millimeters high aluminium profile just to get the right height and it actually lines up pretty well it lines up pretty well with the actual um, with the uh, electrodes now another thing that was uh, quite hard to come by was this this transformer here that's a that's a step down transformer because Australia is 240 volts and this motor is um, 100 and 110 115 volts US and uh, yeah so these these transformers are very expensive I have no idea why but I managed to pick up two two for twenty dollars as a matter of fact that's it that's a that's the second one right there. Right. Now, yeah, so I'm hoping that this motor is, will be powerful enough. And so it's the one desync and I'll get some more efficiency out of my coil. Now, the particular feature of this motor that I like is, is this here. You can actually undo these screws. You can undo these screws and rotate the motor to get the timing right because uh, basically the way it works is that your coil or your tank capacitor has to fire when your electrodes are completely lined up and when they close the circuit so basically your um, current goes from this electrode it jumps jumps the gap which is well it's a bit too big now uh, 
it goes through this brass plate through this side and jumps on this side on this electrode which closes the circuit now the tank capacitor has to be discharged on its highest um, when it, when the charge is the basically what's the word for it right on its maximum charge now also in the same time these electrodes have to be lined up in a correct position to get the most um, to get the most out of your circuit now this adjustment here will actually enable you to to time it correctly so you'll get um, you'll get longer sparks it's all about sparks yeah so yeah this is my second attempt and uh, I hope this time it's going to going to work a bit better now just a small demo just for you crowd I'll plug it in just to show you how it works There you go. I managed to get the whole thing um, fairly balanced. There is there is no vibration actually. Well, there is no vibration, so yeah, that's quite good. Now, hopefully, hopefully we'll manage to we'll manage to get better performance out of it there is uh, just I suppose I'll keep you posted there we go. there you go thank you for watching